So, okay, let's uh, do in the intro to geometry chapter 8 problem. So, uh, quadrilaterals. So, we have a trapezoid ABCD is divided into the four uh, congruent trapezoid as, as shown, and we have the AB is the four, and the CD is the eight. So, find the length of the all segment. So we know this is 4, this is the 4, this is the 4, this is the 4, right? So let's think this is the y and this is the y, right? And this is the y, this is the y. Okay, so now we can see the uh, 2y plus 4 equals 8, cd is 8, right? So we know y equals 2. Now we have this is 2, 2, and the 2, and the 2, right? So now we will try to solve the, uh, we try to solve this, this side, right? So yeah, so let's see. So the symmetry tells us, okay? So this is the D and the C, and uh, this is uh, Eight. This is the four and the four, and this is the four, right? So we know this one parallel to this, right? So that's why we can see it is the. So that's we know it's the it's the it's the. <coughs> this one is uh, is a four to eight. So this is the midpoint, right? So that's why this is the four. This is the four. So it's 888, eight, eight, right? So now we know this is the 60 degrees. Okay, so this is the key. So once we know this is the 60 degrees, then we are easy. So here is the 60, 60, right? So this is 180. So now you can see uh, we have here, we here, okay? So we have this one and we have this one, okay? So we have the we have the 60 degrees here, right? So we try to solve x, okay? So this is the x, this is the x, this is the 4 minus x, okay? So you can see, so you can see this is a this is a equilateral triangles right 60 and 60 right so now you can see the x is equal to this is the x right this is the x so now you can see the the x equals to the uh, 4 minus x right so now you can see the x equals to 2 okay so now we know this is the 2, right? So this is the 2, this is the 2. Okay, so now we can find all the segment. So the segment is 8 and 3 fourths. So 8 plus 3 times 4, right? And the plus how many 2s? 1, 2, uh, how many 2s? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 5, 2. So now you can see the total is the 20 plus the 10 is equal to the 30. Okay. So next. Uh, so we have a street, okay. The street is parallel to a curve of the 40 feet apart. So we know the, the distance is 40 feet and the crosswalk is bounded by the two parallel stripe. So this is bounded by a two parallel stripe. And uh, the, cur the curb side between the two stripe is 15, okay? Uh, and the each stripe is 50 long. Okay, so the goal is to calculating is the, find the distance between the stripes. So now let's see, uh, 50, 40, so this is the 
a b l c a d then this is the h then let's do a, a height okay so based on this one uh, what we can see is that this is the theta right so uh, so that's why this is also the theta theta minus this is, plus this is 90 c plus this is uh, theta plus this is also 90 degrees here right and now if this is theta so this is the 90 minus theta and this is 90 minus theta right so you can see the uh, p okay you can see the triangle the cph is uh, similar to the triangle in the the d uh, the dhb right okay so now you can see the <coughs> now you can see the uh, this is the for example p ph right uh, over the uh, over ch is equal to the uh, a bh uh, over the bd right so this is the 40 over 50 right so the ch let's see what is ch so this is the this triangle the b uh, d h is uh, uh, 50 40 so this one is 30 right so this one is 15 so you know this is 45 so that's why the ph is equal to 45 times uh, 4 over 5 is equal to the 36 okay since we already solved the ph is the 36 right so now we can see uh, the the distance this is the this is the x we want to calculate okay so the pq so you can see the pq right based on the ratio of the 15 over 30 right so 15 over 30 is 1 over 2 so total is 3 piece and this is the one piece so pq is one third of the ph is equal to 12. and uh, this next so in this diagram we have the ax equals the xy equals six so we have six and six and the uh, axy equals the 70 and the w is 125 and the xza x the a is 21 and the x z w x z w is 34 okay so find the z x z x a okay so let's calculate it so the angle z is the 34 plus 21 so it is the 5 and 55 okay so the angle z plus the angle w is the 55 plus the 125 is equal to 180 so from this two then you can know the the it's the uh, w x will be parallel to z a okay and uh, now you can you can also solve these two angles right so this angle is 70 half of the 70 is 35 90 minus 35 uh, is 55 this is also the 55 so this angle is the uh, 125 okay so now you know this is 125 this is a 50 right and now you 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 know the also you know that ax is parallel to wz right so you can see this is the 55 55 that's why they are parallel and also the ax is equal to wz equal 6 so now it gives you the wxaz is a parallelogram okay now so once you know this you can know everything so the zxa because they are parallel is equal to 34 degrees uh, the wz 
So it's the parallelogram, so WZ is equal to 6. Prove the WY. Uh, WY equals the XZ, right? XZ. Yeah, because you can see if this is the case, this is the 6, and they are parallel, right? So you know the WXYZ is the isosceles trapezoid. If this is the isosceles trapezoid, right, per symmetry, you know the WY equals the ZX. Okay, and if you want to be a little bit rigorous, you don't, you don't believe the symmetry, uh, you can also use the congruent triangle, okay? So you can see they are parallel, and let's draw two, 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 two lines, okay? Now you can see is the uh, this one equals this one, right? But the isosceles trapezoid means this angle is equal to this angle, and uh, this one equals to uh, this alpha, this is alpha, so this is beta minus alpha, right? So, and also uh, this is the alpha, this is the beta minus alpha, this is the alpha. So we have two, uh, two triangles, right? Then we have a common side, we have one side are equal, we have beta and the beta, so these two, uh, two triangles are congruent, okay? So A, B, C, D, right? You can prove using the SAS to prove the triangle, the A, B, C is congruent to the triangle, the D, uh, C, B, okay? Next. <coughs> So we have the rectangle ABCD and uh, AB is 16. Uh, triangle, uh, rectangle ABCD, then AB is 16, then AD is 5. So F is on AB and G is on CD such that FG BD and AC are concurrent, okay? So BD and AC are the, are the diagonal of the, uh, the rectangle, so with this is the center of the O, and the FG is passing this, so it's any line of the FG is passing this, okay? So per the congruent triangle, you already know this four segment is the same, is uh, the same, right? The, the, the rectangle. Uh, so the FOB. Okay, so we want to know the FOB plus the GOC. Okay. So let's see what is the FOB and what is the GOC. FOB and the GOC. Okay, so let 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 that seems to 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 there is a there is a symmetry here. Okay. Uh, so we have, let me try to see. So the we have a we have a set of some symmetry of the O, right? The G O C Okay, so we can see the G O C, okay? Uh G O C is Okay, so we can see the G O C. GOC is the is the height is the point from the G to this, right? Mm -hmm. So the GOC is a half of the uh, half of the AGC, right? The AGC, let's see, let's using the, the, the total area of the ABCD is K, okay? 
So the AGC is half of the this times the height, right? That's uh, that's one, uh, that's that's a quarter of the ABCD. That's the GOC, okay? Now the second piece is the FOB, right? FOB, if you take a look at the FOB, you land the height here, right? FOB is half of the of the DFB. The half of the DFB is uh, is also a quarter. Is half of this, right? Yes. Yeah, so that's. Let me see. AGC is half of this, and uh, it's a quarter of that. Yes. So this one is one half. One half times a quarter of the ABCD. Okay. So these two together will be one eighth and one eighth. So adding together the FOB plus the GOC is equal to the one fourth of the ABCD. So it's equal to one quarter. So AD is five, right? So f uh, 16 times five is 20. So next, so we have uh, each angle of a rectangle ABCD is trisected by a pair of the segment. Okay. So we can draw a trisector. Then Yeah, so by symmetry, yeah, here is a lot of symmetry. Right, by symmetry, you can see the intersection is here. This is the midpoint. I mean, this is the midpoint, right? This is the symmetry line. Yeah, but symmetry is this because you can see why this is the case. Okay, you can see this is the 30 degrees, this is the 30 degrees, right? So this is must be isosceles. So in order to be isosceles, right? So this point must be land on equal distance to this two. So it must land on the uh, perpendicular bisector of this edge, right? So the perpendicular bisector of the, this side, this is the A, B, C, D. Yeah, I mean ABCD. The perpendicular bisector of BC is also perpendicular bisector of AD, and we also can prove that P is on this and the Q is on uh, R is on, on 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 the perpendicular bisector, right? And the, the same reason, right? So you can see this is the sixty, this is the sixty. You can also prove the these two points are also on the on the perpendicular bisector, right? And similarly, we can prove this one, okay? So we can prove the S and T, I uh, mean S and Q, uh, on the perpendicular bisector of this edge. So this is the M, this is the N, okay? Now, <coughs> what we want to prove is the, is the P, S, P, S, R, Q, is a rhombus okay to prove this one is rhombus first we need to be adjacent side equal and they are the uh, parallelogram right so since we are on the center right so we know 
we are on the center, so we know this, the, 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 the total is symmetry. So this one, this, this leg equal to this leg, right? So that's why we know the SP equals SR and the equals the RQ that equals PQ, okay? This is the first thing we, we, we can see, right? And the second one, what we see is the the this is the this is the the this symmetry per symmetry right so we know this length equals to this length right and this is the perpendicular so they are the perpendicular bisector right and also sq and the pr are perpendicular bisect each other So by combining all of them, basically, if we know this one, if we know the second part, we already can prove this one, the P, Q, uh, R, S is a rhombus. Okay, so I want to let you see why, why we can prove it, okay? So if we know they are perpendicular, bisect each other. We know this one equal this one, this one equal this one, right? So you can see this triangle SAS, right? Congruent to this triangle, congruent to this triangle, congruent to this triangle. One, two, three, four. So one congruent to two, congruent to three congruent to four. Okay, so now you know this angle and uh, this angle will be equal, right? So this is the way you can prove it, okay? Mm, this one tells us the mm, uh, the rectangle ABCD the rectangle ABCD when M is on the midpoint of the BC so here is the M point PQ uh, lies on the A, B, and uh, C, D, uh, P, Q. Q. Okay, so we know the P, B is uh, four thirds of the B, C, right? So let's see this is the B. Uh, this is the T and the T, so this is the four, three of the T, and the PMQ is the right angle. What is the ratio of the PM and the Q? So if this is the right angle, right, you know these two are complementary, so this is theta, this is the theta, okay? So what we can see is the triangle, the PBM, was similar to the triangle the MMCQ okay now we can do the PM over the QM right is equal to when that's you the known size is the uh, PB over the MC is four thirds of the T over the uh, B, B, C, uh, of the 2T, okay, so 4 thirds of the 2T over the T, so it's 8 over 3. Then in the diagram, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, okay, uh, A, B, C, D. Okay, then here is the E and F. 
E and F. So the we can see the B C is parsing the E and A. Given the A D F, we have the A D F is sixty four, and the C E F is four. Okay. So since this is the parallelogram, right? So we know this one parallel to this. Then we know the angle of this is theta equal to this is theta, right? And uh, so that's why we know the triangle uh, AFD is similar to triangle the EFC. Then we know the 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 area, the ratio of the area is equal to the uh, square of the sides, right? So we know the mm, it's the DF. Uh, over the FC uh, will be equal to the uh, square root of the 64 over 4. Uh, so this will be the uh, 1, 16 is 4. Okay, so this is the first step. Uh, so the 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 answer for the a is c f equal f d is one over four. Okay. Then for b, we are asking us what is the b f c. Okay, the b f c. So you can see this one is uh, one over four, right? So that means. <coughs> If this length is t, then this length is 4t, right? So this is 4t. Uh, then we know the 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 the, the triangle, the uh, B F C, the area, right? With the same height is the uh, is four times the area of the C F D. Then this is a four times four is equal to 16, and the uh, number C. Uh, we know the uh, so the this one is sixteen, right? So we know the the a uh, uh, the a b f okay uh, will be half of the a b c d, right? So that means uh. Take out the A, B, F, the other two, that's the 64 plus uh, 16 will be the half of the A, B, C, D, right? So let's make, sh make this one to the uh, 80. So the A, B, C, D is 2 times the 80 is 160. Okay. So eight sixty. So we have a kite, okay. So we know a kite is a two isosceles triangle, and uh, the, there is a the, there is a reflection line. Uh, the symmetry line is this, and uh, this symmetry line uh, will 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 bisect the will bisect the other diagonals. So this is the A, B, C, D. Uh, this is the kite, right? So this is the symmetry line. Uh, so find the area if the diagonal length is 10 and 12. So this is simple, right? So you can see the H1 and the H2. So you know this one is this one, right? So basically the the, the this diagonal uh, perpendicular bisect the other one, uh, so you, the the area of will be the you can dis divide into the A B D uh, plus the uh, B C D. So this is the half of the ten times H one and the plus half of the ten times the H two and the one plus two is twelve. So half of the ten times twelve is equals to the 60 and uh, for the b uh, so we want to find the kite if ac is this and bd is this so 
so if <sighs> something like this half okay the a b c so we know the a c is 6 root 2 and the a b is the 4 root 3 and the b c is 2 root 3 okay so we know the we know the 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 three sides right uh, so we can use the Heron's formula to calculate that or we can use the other way okay so let's let's see so is this a, a right triangle maybe we can try right so 16 times 3 plus the 4 times 3 is equal what is the 48 plus the 12 is 60 okay so this is the 72 so that means that means this is the obtuse triangle okay now let's solve the equation maybe uh, we set this one as h right and this one as x and this is uh, uh, 6 root 2 minus x so now we can see the uh, h square plus the x square is equal to the uh, 48 then the h square plus the 6 square root 2 minus x square is equal to uh, 12 right so we can have the 1 and the 2 uh, now we can use the 1 uh, minus 2 and apply the 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 difference of the square so it will be 6 root 2 and uh, 2x minus 6 root 2 so now we can have the so we can solve the x right so we can solve the x uh, equal to the uh, the, this one is 6 root 2, 3 root 2, so x minus 3 root 2 is uh, 3 over 2, then x is equal to 3 root 2 plus 3 over root 2. Okay, so if we solve the x, right, then we can solve the h, okay? Let's go solve the h, so h square is equal to the 48 minus this right so the square of this is the 18 uh, plus the 9 over 2 then times together is 9 then plus 2 is 18 so this one is the 36 is 12 plus minus the 9 over 2 is 2 over 24 4 is 2 over 14 is 2 over 15 so now we can solve the h is equal to root 15 over root 2 uh, so based on this two we can solve the the half of the so the co the the abcd will be two times of the this triangle is 6 root 2 times the height so it will be the 6 root 15 okay and next okay yeah so this one is uh, you can use the cutting and paste to do it okay so we want to know the if the consider the the square the side is one right what's the it was the shade area so we take the midpoint here and uh, we connect like this uh, okay I, I'm sorry I draw the opposite but it's the same uh, so let's see so we can do the let's let's do this okay 
So basically, the first thing I want to I want to see is the rotation. The uh, is the rotation. Okay. So you can see these two triangles. Okay. So you can see if you rotating the the triangle of this one. Okay. You rotating ninety degrees here. It will be rotating like to this, right? And uh, when you when you do the translation, it's the same as this, right? So that means uh, that means the corresponding sides. Okay, you can see uh, this side and uh, this side. They are ninety degrees here, right? And uh, so. Uh, the long side of this side and this side also ninety degrees. So of course the hypotenuse will be also ninety degrees. So the for any uh, any shape, okay, if you you rotating from this shape one side, okay, if you rotating to the theta, okay, any corresponding sides will be also rotating the same degrees. So that's why you can see here in the same way you can prove, okay. By symmetry, this is the square. So what we draw is we want to uh, extend this to draw the uh, to 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 draw the perpendicular lines. Okay. Then we also can we can also do this perpendicular lines, and the perpendicular lines. Okay. Now let's see what do what did we do? So we move this one and the one prime right. Then this is the. A two to the two prime, then the three to the three prime, and the four to the four prime. Okay, so now you can see the one, two, three, four has been moving to this five part, right? So now we know the 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 this cross have the same area as the as the regular. The 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 uh, regular normal square. So that's why we have one piece, two piece, three piece, four piece, five piece. So one piece here is one over five of the square, the times one, right? So that's one over five. Uh, so the the N P uh, parallel to the N O and the P O parallel. So we have a parallelogram. Okay, so it's N O P M N O. So we have a parallelogram and we have the M A equals A P. So means A is the midpoint and the NC equals CO. So C is the midpoint. Okay. So by symmetry, I have this. So let's connect this, connect this, connect this, and connect this. Then we have the B and D, BD. So by symmetry, okay, you can cut in the, this line and uh, prove that A, B, C, D is a quarter of the, we want to prove A, B, C, D is a quarter of that. So this is the midpoint, this is the midpoint, right? The two midpoint will also causing a perpendicular line base to here and now you know this one equal this one right so we have two parallelogram this is the parallelogram of the uh, macn and uh, we have another uh, parallelogram of the uh, of the acop okay so we have two parallelogram so we know uh, when we cutting the parallelogram, right? So, uh, so this 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 is one quarter of the parallelogram. This is a one quarter, right? So let's see the the M N P O O P 
is equal to k, right? So that's why uh, you can we can know the m a c n equal to the a c o p equal to half of the k, right? So this is the quarter of half of the k. So that means this is the uh, uh, k over eight. This is the k over eight, right? So that's why the a b c d is the k over eight plus the k over eight is k over four. And now you prove this is the quarter of the m n o p. So yeah, that's recording a second video for the second half. Thank you.